Hey, Nikitansky here, and this is the second episode of uh, building Closure Script game. So before we dive in into building actual game, uh, I, I, I thought that uh, I want to deploy this uh, project on GitHub pages, so anyone could check it out by just going to a link, right? And the trick here was is that Figwheel is configured to work through a server. Actually, Figwheel is a, has a server, right? It serves your files uh, on its own, right? So it, it uses like uh, servlets to serve your files, and they collect them from different directories. That trick wouldn't work for static file servers. Um, so Setting this up the way that it works both for static files and for Figwheel is a little bit tricky. So let's 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 get uh, let me show you how I get it work. First, um, we need a docs folder, right? So this is where our files will be served from uh, for static uh, for GitHub pages. Uh. So uh, here and here we're actually going to move CSS uh, to docs. Like that, and we are going to need the copy of index.html in there. I'm also going to rename styles to static, so this will be single folder for CSS, images, uh, fonts, and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, now we go here, and yeah, first we need to replace this because it's now static. Okay, and now we're going to change. Okay, now, okay, let me uh, start by renaming this profile a little bit of rename, right? We rename this to REPL. And actually, here I need to change docs as well. Okay, and then we go to figwheel config here and we say to use REPL for Apple and uh, min profile for min. So we are going to create a new profile, which will be just for minification, right? Min uh, In here, we are going to set up output to, which will be docs min main.js and output beer, which will be docs min, okay? So those are the folders where core script compilation results will go. Okay. And I think that's more or less it. Okay, let me just Google Docs static. Yeah. I think that's it. So let's see if let me just create a new script so I, I will I can invoke the Serbian env branch. So what we're going to do is we're going to rm minus ref docs slash min and min main to js and after that we are going closure fig min. So this will be uh, min dot slash. This script will be used to just compile Signification. Yeah, let's see. Let's see if it works. Okay. Meanwhile, I'm going to also create uh, repl.sh and So REPL is for REPL and CLEAN is for CLEAN. Okay. Um, yeah, so as you can see, the ColorScript compiler started to compile code in, in here, right? Uh, there should be more files as it goes. And in, as the end result should be that we, when we open this HTML file, we should see the working, uh, working uh, application. Okay? And the name of the JavaScript file will be like that. 
as you can see, more and more compilation results, including our file, actually. So the main JS that we have will look looks like that when compiled to CoreScript, but this is not minified yet. So at, at some point, it will start minifying them as well. And when everything is done, opening this HTML should open the application. So we should see the hello world. Right? Let me also go to here and change the color of the text to red so that we know that styles has loaded. Oh, it's actually finished, right? So yeah, it's finished. The uh, styles are loaded, application is loaded, and uh, everything is fine. Also, you can see that there are some warnings. They actually comes from RAM, uh, from actually they comes from Google Closure Compiler that tries to parse RAM doc strings and find this construction which I use in documentation, and it doesn't know what to do with it. But it obviously it has some special meaning for it in in, in string, right? In, in not in the code here. And it can't. Can. So it's but these are just warning, so it's all fine. Okay. And yeah, another thing that we need to do is we need to go to docs and actually disable this min folder from getting into git error. Right? We don't need uh, the min folder. Right? We actually what we need is just this JS file. And you can see this is just a huge JS minified JS file with like crazy code. Okay, so this folder is just intermediate results that we can safely delete and check that application still works. Right? So, okay, this is the first part. The second part, let's just run. So we, now we need, let me just start REPL. Now we need for interactive REPL to work as well. Right? And it, it should work actually. So uh, we still have index.html here, right? And uh, the Closure script uh, compilation results without optimizations are still in target and they are properly linked by FigWheel. This part will work no problem. Okay. But 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 the styles, the problem are the styles, actually all the static resources, not just styles, but images, fonts, and, and so on. Because they are not in resources public, uh, they won't be served by FigWheel handler and they, they won't work. So one solution would be to symlink them. But unfortunately, FigWheel ser server disables symlinks. Uh, but that would be a very, very nice solution, actually. And when this page loads, you will see that application starts, but you can see the red text because styles didn't load. Okay, uh, it still didn't start. Something is wrong here. Huh. Yeah, because I, I used dev and it should be not dev but REPL. Yeah, sorry. Uh, this way it starts. It starts. It should start. Yeah, we start. Yeah, but you see that styles are missing, right? So if you go to network, if you go to network, we see 404 on styles. Yeah, then because we are not serving it. So the solution I came up with is uh, maybe a little bit strange, but it's actually it's fine, I think. Uh, what we're going to do, we're going to write a handler that will serve static resources specifically, right? Everything else will be served by FigWheel, and, but static resources will be served by us. So in development, it's still fine. We still run like a servlet and FigWheel has an option to plug in your own handler. So it's all fine. So, uh, so we start with writing a namespace, which will be heroes.server. Okay. We will need drink closure and I think it's file response, something like that. There's test response here. Yeah. Okay, so what we need is this namespace. Okay, let me save this as server.clj so that I get syntax highlighting. Okay, so the handler is uh, well, just uh, a function that takes request and returns response. So we only need a 
Okay, I need another namespace which will be closure string. Uh, as long as request. Okay, so let me let we actually we can do it in here. Keys re. So star starts with re. So if so if the request starts with static, right? We return file response. So there is file response somewhere in here. Yeah, it is. So file response. Oh yeah, there is file response with file pass which is still URI and yeah and we have a root option which would be static right ah sorry it will be docs yeah so basically that means the wise version is powerful Okay, so basically this one will look up in docs and then if, for example, if somebody asks for static slash style, right? So that's URI starts from static slash style and we'll, we'll look under docs slash static slash style. Okay, so this should work. And another, another thing that we need to do is, yeah, ring handler here. Yeah. So this is a configuration option that we need to specify to figwheel in here. So ring handler will be hero server slash maybe we could call it static. We would actually need to restart all this so that Figwheel reloads its configuration. Or maybe I could call, could have called reset and would reload the config. Or yeah, I should have called reset actually. That would be much faster. But anyways, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's wait while it starts, and as a result of it, um, we, we see here this is a static uh, version with minified code, and here dynamic version that didn't work. But let's wait when it starts properly. Right, we should see a dynamic version with styles. Yeah, as you can see, styles are here. So both versions are working. They're not conflicting. We actually have. Uh, closure script or JavaScript compiled to di two different places. This is also important so we don't mix them up. So we don't accidentally override like minified version with non-minified version, for example. So this is important as well. And yeah, this must be it. So let me, let me finish this up by commit all this to, to the git. Let's see what we added. So SR scripts, depths, dot hidden docs. Yeah, with min main. So this is important. We, we still serve the min, min we commit min, min main to the repository uh, because this will be the file that will be served by static pages, right? Then there's figure main, min, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, this seems okay. So the message would be GitHub pages, right? Let's push. And now we need to watch into places. The, oh, actually, let's see if that commit goes through. Yeah, it seems it did. And now if we go to Tonsky slash me slash heroes, we should see don't say anything. This is strange. Oh, it actually starts. Oh, no, it didn't start. Why did it? What? No, this is old. This is old. What, what is in docs folder right now? This index HTML that uses statics and mean main, right? 
So this is very old. Yeah, uh, there it is. So if you go to this URL, you actually see your application. So let me just update the link here. So there's a website. Yes. Yeah, so that's it. Um, and uh, stay tuned. Look, um, come for the next episode. We will be trying to place some graphics into the page. That's it for now. Bye-bye.